What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the episode of Wrestling Wednesdays. Wrestling. And we got another quiz for you guys today. Cream, 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 cream. Sorry. Jinxie, chill. It's going to be guess the WWE finishing move by the description. So, our host is going to let the phone read out the description of the finishing move. We have to guess what it is. So, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and wait for comment of the day. Let's get into it. It. Dude, we're not Chris Jericho. It. Why is my name on this? Huh? What? He's doing the Chris Jericho thing where he was like, why is my name on this? Uh, what, Kevin Owens? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Number one. You just made the, le- the clay. Lifting an opponent by the throat into the air as high as you can reach, then slamming them forcefully into the mat on their back. Good thing we have to do, like, who, who like, did the move. Yeah. All right. Three. This is what we likes to be done to him. Two, one. Choke, choke slam. slam. They have to be choked. Choke slam. He's like, oh, you already choked me, daddy. Choke me, I choke me, daddy. Okay. Number two. A shot oh, to the three. midsection, and while the opponent is doubled over, his head is placed between the legs. Oh. A double underhook of the arms completes the setup, and then jumping and driving the opponent into the mat face first. We said this is an example. That sounds pretty hot. <laughs> what? Three, two, one, the pedigree. pedigree. It's the pedigree. Yeah, we know. We gotta wait for a freaky one to come around. Freaky dicky. In 69 position. Okay. <laughs> Number three. Locking one of your opponent's arms between your legs as they are lying face down on the mat. Your hands are then interlocked around the chin area of your opponent and pulling back as far as you can while lying on their back to eliminate any movement from the opponent. Wait, wait, replay it again. Locking one of your opponent's arms between your legs as they are lying face down on the mat. Okay, no, I got it. Your hands are then interlocked around the chin area of your opponent and pulling back as far as you can while lying on their back to eliminate any movement from the opponent. This is dope. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. I think she has an obsession with this one person because his name comes up a lot in our quizzes. <laughs> you take your opponent's arm as they're face down on that until they can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> with a pillow. Three, two, one, the cross face. Cri- it's the cross. crippler cross face. It's the cross, cross face. face. Yeah. Who do you think I'm obsessed with? Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. No. Dude, that's, you've, you use him so many times in Dude, quizzes. The, the... Number three. Bird. Grapevining your opponent's legs around one of yours as they lay on their back, and then rolling them onto their stomach, and leaning back while simultaneously pulling on their legs, and sitting on their backs an innovative version of the Boston Crab. Uh, wait, did it say the legs were crossed? Grapevining the opponent's leg around yours. Great. Just go with what you were doing. Go with what you were doing. No, no, I don't see the other one. But what is the name of it? Uh... Dude, you don't know this? I know who you do. I know Bret Hart used it, but I don't know the name of it. There was an emoji quiz that we had about it, and I couldn't figure it out until you had until you showed it to me. What, the Sting one? Mm-mm. There was this answer. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. No, I had to just think of the, the name. Three... Two, one, sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Sharp Dude, if you mark on me, I'm telling you right now. Number four. The whole move is a running tackle while driving the shoulder into oh. the stomach area of the opponent. You should hear my dad say his last name. I had to correct him. <laughs> I, had to cor- imagine, bro. I had to correct him because he wasn't using the E. It's not, it's not that? I'm like, no. You mean to tell me it's not that? No. There's an E in there. He's like, so it's this? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I never knew that. <laughs> Three, two, one, spear. Spear! The gore! Spear. Oh, what if she did change it up and said it was the gore? This person ta- uh, tackles you with his shoulder with small arms. Right up. Huh. T-Rex arms. Number five. 
You have the opportunity to catch your opponent's head in a reverse headlock over your shoulder. Even mark on you. you grab hold and drive the opponent face first into the mat. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't hear you. You have it. the opportunity to catch your opponent's head in a reverse headlock over your shoulder. You grab hold and drive the opponent face first into the mat. So we're, are we doing... I don't the, know what this is. Are we doing the actual name of it? One more time. You have the opportunity to catch your opponent's head in a reverse headlock over your shoulder. You grab hold and drive the opponent face oh, okay. first into the mat. Wait. Over your shoulder or under? Over. So here? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Three... You got it? Yeah. Two, one, cutter, RKO. RKO. Yeah. So it's the cutter. It's yeah. the same. Uh, yeah. It's the same thing. Number six. Right. A jumping thrust kick to the head. Wait, are we going with like what it's called today or what it was? Yeah. Right. Dang, I feel like two years old. Like, you know, rubbing the, you know, you're laying down. <laughs> Three. Yo, what? Wait, what? Three. Two, one, super, super kick. kick. I have bicycle kick on here. Bicycle kick? That's totally different. Bicycle kick's like... A jumping thrust kick to the head. Oh, dude, it is. So it's a drop kick? No, it's the bro kick. The bicycle kick, the bro kick. Oh, that's a bicycle kick? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Why don't they do that in soccer like that? That's not a bicycle kick. You know what? You're right. They call it a different thing in soccer. Number seven. Lifting your opponent onto your shoulders into a fireman's carry, and then dropping them down onto a knee lift to the mm. head. Excellent. Two, one, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Fun fact, he does, he does it to all of his kids. What? The GTS. Now this one's long. Dude, imagine that you're like you're uh, you're with your future wife, right? And you have kids, and you're like go put your kids to sleep. And you're okay. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Should you make them go to sleep. Yeah. Picking an opponent up like. around the hip area and either slamming their back straight to the ground or spinning 180 degrees and slamming them back first that way. The person receiving the move is usually coming off of the ropes <laughs> running. Picking an opponent. Picking an opponent Those up around words, the hip area and either slamming their back straight to the ground or spinning 180 degrees and slamming them back first that way. The person receiving the move is usually coming off of the ropes running. This is the receiving and coming part. Just like, shouldn't be together. Okay, do it again. Picking an opponent up around the hip area and either slamming their back okay, straight I know it. to the ground or spinning 180 degrees and slamming them back first that way. The person receiving the move I know is, what it is usually coming off of the ropes right Coming. Leave it out. Three, two, one, spine buster. It's a spine How buster. How do you not know the spine buster? Took you art ten minutes, but... Because I forgot that Batista does the whole... He can... Triple H used to do it, too. The Rock's the only one who used to, like, when he come back, he would, like, do it instantly to set up the, uh, people's elbow. Yeah, his uh, spine busters here lately are shitty. I mean, he's old. I don't care. He's in more better shape than us. He's on steroids. Next. The Rock's on steroids. Number nine. Shut up. Face lock with the receiver's chin ending up on the shoulder of the deliverer before the deliverer drops to the mat, driving the jaw into their shoulder. Face the camera. I can't do that. Face the camera. How am I going to do Face that? the camera! Was that imagine already, falling down to the mat, like. Was I already the answer though? No. No. Nope. You didn't. Come here. <laughs> Come here, darling. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Lights out. Literally. Okay, I guess I'll go with this. There you go. I like how you're giving him the answers. I don't care. Three, two, one, stunner. It's the stunner. Stunning Steve Austin. I don't know how you're not getting these. Because I, okay, I'm hearing it, but I'm not picturing it. This is That's why. Tree. 
What do you got? I got the same as you. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I can't help you with everything. What are you going to do? I can't help you with everything. What are you going to do? I can't You're help you with all? You're not going to be a bitch? Hmm? No, I'm not betting all my points. Oh, my God. I'm going to beat you by one. Okay. Ready? Number 10. When one member of the team flapjacks an opponent, while at the same time, the other attacker performs a cutter on the way down. Ooh, wait, wait, this one has a name? Sure does. It, it, uh, there's another answer though, right? Uh, nope. Okay, I'm gonna put them both down. I'm putting them both down then. We can't see it, but... You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, the 3D. 3D or 1D? Either one. Same thing. It's 3D. Boom. Yeah, so... That was, a big quiz. that was an easy quiz for me. I had to help Yard out a couple times. But, uh... We both had... I have ADHD, okay? 18. And when it started yapping for too long, my train of thought was like, we're just going to hear it probably the next 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. I got 18. We both had 18. Or Kobe. Kobe! 18, fuck. Wait. Kobe Dude, if you flip it, it's... That's 81. Okay, 81. Kobe. Time to play crash. Um, you tell me if I did this. <laughs> be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And uh, comment down below Spine Buster to remind Yard. Is that backwards? What are you writing? Oh, I think I wrote it wrong. Kevin. Kevin? You know, you know how Logan Paul did in the chamber? You know he wrote everything backwards so mm -hmm. people can read it? You know how hard that is? Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Be uh be sure to like that video, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a good video. Mm -hmm. But uh we'll see you guys in the next quiz. I'm Wheat. And I'm Yart. And we out. Hold on, should I get you to move? Yeah, fuck it. Bang!